What's up everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. I have the number one rated battery powered mower right there. This is the Ego 21 inch cell propelled mower. This thing is a lawn mowing beast. It's all about performance. Now the other great thing about this mower, in addition to the performance, is there's very little maintenance. There's no oil changes, there's no winterization. You don't have to mess around with carburetors. You kind of just use it as a mower, like wrap your head around that. But there is one thing I suggest to everyone they do every year, and that is sharpen your mower blade. You know, if your lawn's not looking as good as it did when you first got the mower, that's probably because you need to sharpen that blade. So I'm gonna show you quickly today how to do that like the simplest way possible with tools you probably have around your house. And then since this is a Kite Army video, you know, we can't stop there. We gotta step it up. I'm gonna sharpen that blade to like dangerously sharp levels, you know, like, you know, you can shave with and see if it changes the performance. So we have a bunch to do today. Let's jump into it. So the first thing we gotta do is get our tools together so we can get started on this project. All right guys, let me show you the tools you'll need to complete this project. Now do not worry if you don't have all these on hand. I'll have a link to these products right down below. Now the first thing you're gonna need is something like this. This is a metal file. You'll use this to sharpen your blade. Many of you will have these around your house. Next up, we gotta have gloves. We gotta protect these little digits so we can do other fun things. Sharpie. Sharpies are awesome. Magnums are even better. See, this is a Magnum Sharpie. That means grande size. So you're gonna need some sort of clamp so you can secure the blade to the table while you sharpen it. I'm using one of these. You can use a vise, you can use an alligator clamp, anything to give you more control over that blade. Now I know this is gonna impress you, but you're gonna need one of these. This is a hammer. It looks like I cobble shoes together and you're gonna need a nail. Now the last thing you're gonna need is some sort of adjustable wrench or socket set so you can remove the mower blade. All right guys, do so I got your attention? Your eyes are right here. This is the most critical part of the video. If you take anything away from the video, I want it to be this. Now if you're working on a battery powered mower, please make sure you remove that battery before you consider lifting it up to sharpen the blade. If it's a gas powered mower, make sure you disconnect that spark plug wire. Remember, safety is everything. All right, let's remove the mower blade. There we go. So the first thing that I do when I'm sharpening my blade is I take my Sharpie and actually color the cutting edge of the blade there, all black, so that I can see how much edge I've taken off as I sharpen the blade. It'll just serve as a convenient guide for you. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is secure your blade to the table. Make sure it's nice and tight on there, really firm. So now you wanna take a good hard look at this blade and notice the angle of the current edge on there. You can see it's right around there. And I wanna use that as a guide to sharpening the blade. So what you do, is you just go along that edge trying to keep that same exact angle. So you can see down here on the blade, there's a little bit of a curve. So what you wanna do is you wanna follow that curve with your file and try to keep it at the same angle through the whole blade. The nice thing about that Sharpie is you can see where you filed and you just go along the whole edge like this, taking out all burrs and nicks in the blade. Now being methodical at this point will give you a really nice edge. You can see I need to give a little bit more attention out here to the end of the blade. So on the back side of the blade will be a little burr after you do that. You want to take that off by just running your file on the back side just a few times. Try to stay perpendicular with the blade here. You're not going to do any of these kind of actions. Just nice and flat taking that burr off. Looking good there. So the next step is to balance your blade. The reason why you balance your blade is you wanna make sure that you took equal amounts of metal off the blade here. If you didn't, it will be unstable and will vibrate a lot. So let me show you how to do that. So at this step, you need your crazy manly hammer and a nail. Just drive it into the wood, not too far, like that. And then get your blade and put it on there. Now. If everything's good, it should do that. If one side goes low and the other side goes up, that means 
you've got too much weight on the low side, so you have to continue filing there. And if it does this, you actually have to take some off that side. So balancing is really important. You can see this blade looks good. So hopefully now you have a really sharp mower blade, meaning you're gonna have a really clean cut. Now, really sharp mower blade sounds good-ish, sort of, I don't wanna take that away from you, that's cool. But here at Kite Army, I gotta have like extreme sharpness, like as sharp as I could make it razor, razor sharp. I'm gonna use this tool right here. This is the work sharp right here. This is a tool and knife sharpener. It's basically a belt sander and you could put a crazy edge on most knives, blades with this. So that's what I wanna do here. And I wanna see, does it really change the performance of the mower? Now this is what a brand new factory fresh Ego 21 inch mower blade looks like. You can see the blade on this is pretty good. And for most people, that's gonna be perfect. But here at Kite Army, we gotta push the limits. We gotta make this razor sharp. Guys, looking nice and sharp. That's clean. One more shot. Here we go. All right guys, here's the two pieces of the grass. This is from the hand sharpened and this is from the factory sharpened. You can see on the end there on the factory, there's just little piece stragglers of grass on the hand sharpened, really clean. Now the advantage of having a real clean cut is like less disease in your lawn, so it's a good thing. Though I, both of these are really good. I had to look really hard to find two examples for you. All right guys, today I shared a simple way to keep your mower blade really sharp. Now in the second part of the video where I mowed this grass right here with a ultra sharp blade, I learned something. And what I learned is you don't need a razor sharp blade to get a good quality, healthy cut. Just a well-maintained blade like what I showed you in today's tips will do the job. Guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other content, and trust me, like, trust me, trust me, trust me, there's some very exciting battery-powered lawn tool news coming down the pike, so stay tuned for that. Be safe out there, guys, and I'll see you around real soon.